Senator Cowan, there was a story yesterday. Hillary Clinton uh, gave a paid speech in Miami. Reporter in the room. Somebody snapped the photo. And security personnel confiscated the phone, erased the photo of, of, of Senator Clinton, Secretary Clinton giving the speech, and then gave the phone back. It seemed like an overly harsh thing to do. The guy is quoted as saying to the Miami Herald reporter, Mark Caputo, who, was, uh, who got into the event, saying, I just wanted to take a picture for my daughters. It was a little striking to me because I thought, boy, this is the Clintons of five years ago who looked like they were impenetrable, a little bit too controlling. Well, I, I think that's right if it's true. If it's her security, I mean, listen, we live in a day and age where everyone has a phone, a camera, a camera phone, and so you should presume that everything you say is going to be recorded right. wherever you may be. And I think, you know, as we look at 2016, if Secretary Clinton's really thinking about running, she, her, she and her team have to think about how they engage the public writ large, not just at these kind of functions, but generally speaking. Uh, we were talking earlier, you know, the largest voting block, as we talked before, is millennials. Millennials. We, we had this conversation last uh, week, and, about, and they have a different expectation. Of, of interaction. Absolutely. And so that, that sort of fenced off, distant, um, you know, I'm, the, I'm on the mm -hmm. pedestal and you're here is not going to carry the day. And I'm not suggesting that's what happened here. But this is an example, I think, if she's thinking about running, she and her team really need to get a handle around this quickly and, and find a way to better engage with the public so that she seems accessible because that's going to matter. Susan, a small story. <clears throat> There's no doubt. No, this not is a, a small, small story. story. But but A, with her, they're nothing small, and it's something that their, her folks complain about, and, they, and they're sort of realistic. But it did, I had flashbacks of, oh, man, this is the controlling nature that the Clinton campaign was in 07 and 08. And that's why it's not a small story, because it fits in with an, uh, a, a problem she's had and an expectation that she doesn't get that, you know, if it, frankly, these, in this day and age, if you give a speech to yeah. a big audience of people, it's not off the record, and people are taking your picture. And that, it, just ask Mitt Romney if that's not the case. That's right, and it, it strikes me is, is that this is, and it was something, and, and I remember uh, Mo and I were talking about this last week, the candidate that fits 2016 is going to have to seem accessible, even if they're phony accessible, <laughs> if we think it's phony accessible, they're going to have right. to seem like they're accessible. It had changed so much since she ran in 2008, just in 2012, and it is going to change more before if she decides to run in 2016. I mean, Google Glasses yeah. and broadcast live from anywhere. <laughs> yeah, right? well, yeah. Imagine so, that, right? Somebody sneak it into a, a, a next time, the 47% Michael Steele. What are they going to do? The Google do? Glasses are, 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 are live streaming <laughs> live the fundraiser. Streaming. Yeah. From your backyard. Yeah, no, I think, I, I think, though, to her credit, I don't think this is so much Hillary as it is the people around her. And so if she's looking at this presidential thing, she better be smarter about the people she has around her who understand exactly the point they that Casey's made. They can't get stuck in the whole hunker-down mentality. All right.